So since 2008, when we saw a massive decline in you know, high street shops and uh, retail spending went down, obviously a lot of high street chains that we've known and loved actually went bust in, in the recession. Um, well, that's spurred a huge amount of change. So one of the first points that we really noted is pop-ups. Um, we all absolutely love to go to that immersive experience, whether it be uh, you know, secret cinema style, uh, movie fusion experience with a multi-sensory environment or something like Punch Drunk, which really disrupted the immersive theatre concept in itself. Um, consumers are demanding these amazing experiences as, as currency. And you know, why have we actually seen this phenomenon take place? And uh, what connection does it have to that changing retail environment? Well, given the, you know, that change where so many uh, high street units became empty um, and pop-ups started popping up left, right and centre, we began to see a real disruptive challenge of brand approach to what can you do in that physical space um, when left to your wildest imagination. Well, people started to experiment and actually host events, activities, um, you know, fun pastimes or educational pastimes in these pop-ups for consumers to come and get excited about. Um, and the results were amazing, you know, pop-ups became the, you know, the biggest trend to, to not really go away, it's, it's more of a cultural shift towards the exciting, the temporary, the unique um, and the secret. So that's one train, uh, you know, change that we've seen um, due to the recession, but the other is that due to the massive rise of e-commerce and the instant um, accessibility of actually buying something with a click on the phone, um, consumers aren't really having to go to a physical bricks and mortar store um, as a functional uh, requirement of buying what they want. They can obviously order it online, um, you know, and we're seeing this kind of omni-channel environment emerge where from bricks to clicks and from clicks to bricks in the sense that, you know, someone might order online and go pick up in store or go check it out for, you know, themselves and have a multi-sensory experience in store and actually have it sent to them at home later. Um, well, that transformation is changing the role of retail because we're seeing traditional retailers who, who have got a bricks and mortar presence adopt some of that creativity from that pop-up culture, whether it be placing an event program in store like Lululemon and Adidas or creating a real world immersive brand environment that actually brings their brand personality to life, giving it a purpose and a destination beyond the functional uh, requirement to actually go and buy something. Um, and so that kind of closed the loop um, where consumers are starting online and finishing in store or starting in store and finishing online. Um, it's changing the role of the store into more of an event hub, a destination, somewhere that the consumer can actually go meet the brand, interact with it in a real world sense. Um, and so global brands around the world have actually been popping up with flagship stores and concept stores to test these concepts. And my prediction is in the next few years, uh, we'll see a huge amount more of that actually rolling out across large uh, amounts of their stores.